My name is Christy Dukes, Rehab Director of Henry County Healthcare Center's Plumley Rehab, a part of Henry County Medical Center's Center for Orthopedic Wellness. Most people have the desire to return immediately home after having surgery. However, there are some cases that may require a patient to need to come to inpatient rehab to further the rehabilitation needs. Some things to consider are your age and your ability to recover sooner, in addition to the availability of health that you may have whenever you are at home. You need to consider that whenever you return home, you will be in pain and you will be weak and you po might possibly have a weight-bearing status change that needs to be considered. Also, there are some patients that may have other medical needs that need to be met, not only by our rehab services, but by our nursing care in addition. We are always in contact with your physician if the need arises. What to expect whenever you come for your physical therapy. The main thing I want you to remember is to keep your pain under control. When at the hospital, your pain was under control by a PCA pump, and at times you may have had an oral medication for breakthrough pain. Whenever you come to inpatient rehab, by this point your PCA pump has been discharged and you are only receiving oral pain medication. Your oral pain medication is scheduled PRN, and that means as needed. So you will need to ask for your pain medicine. It may be scheduled every four to six hours, so please ask for your pain medicine before coming to therapy to help keep your pain under control. Even if you don't think you need your pain medicine, it's better to keep it under control than to play catch up. When you try to catch up, your progress may be a little bit slower because they're not able to push you maybe quite as much because of the pain. So again, try to ask for your pain medicine as it's scheduled or as it's ordered every four to six hours, PRN or as needed. Whenever you come in for your evaluation, you and your therapist will discuss what time you will be coming down to the gym for your therapy. If, for example, you begin your therapy at 7.30, you may wanna ask for your pain medicine at seven o'clock so that you'll be ready to go when the time comes. If you are here because you've had knee surgery, your day will look a little bit like this. If you're an early bird, we have some early therapists and they begin therapy before breakfast. So if you and your therapist agree to come down before breakfast, you will have a little bit of your therapy before breakfast, return to your room for breakfast, and then come back afterwards. After your morning session, then you will go back to your room and you will have two hours of the CPM. And by this point, you're very familiar with the CPM and how it works. After your CPM, you will have lunch and then come back to the gym after lunch. And remember, ask for your pain medicine before coming back that afternoon. After you've had breakfast and your afternoon session, you'll return back to your room and continue for two more hours on your CPM. If you are here because you have had hip surgery, your therapy days will be very similar to the knee patient. You will come down for bre after breakfast for your morning session, return to your room for lunch, and then come back after lunch for an evening session. And again, always remember to ask for your pain medicine 30 minutes prior to coming down. The next question that we commonly get is what to wear. You can wear whatever you feel most comfortable in, but we do ask that it is loose fitting and comfortable. If you have had a knee surgery, you may find that you would, be, you would want to wear shorts or pants that can be easily rolled above the knee. They will need to look at your knee during some of your exercises and during your measurements. Shoes need to be non-skid shoes, preferably tennis shoes, if you are comfortable in those. Insurance requirements for inpatient rehab include a three midnight hospital stay. Most insurances cover your stay at 100% for the first 20 days. Some insurances require weekly updates where we will send in updates to your insurance company and they will approve further time. For most of our orthopedic patients, we can look at one to two weeks of rehab. Sometimes, if it's a hip patient and they are a non-weight-bearing status whenever they come out of surgery, the stay may need to be a little bit longer just until the weight-bearing status changes. 
once your physician, your therapist, and you feel comfortable with your progress and feel you are ready to be discharged home, we will recommend for you to return home with either home health or outpatient to continue your rehab needs. Thank you for choosing Plumlee Rehab for your rehab needs and we hope to see you soon.